All right, so you're thinking about moving to Bakersfield. There's a lot of questions you're gonna get asked. Namely, people are gonna say, what do you do there? And then, does it get hot? And where is it again? Let's handle all those right now. Listen, this channel is about everything Bakersfield real estate, homes, lifestyle, all the things. So if you think that's something you're gonna be interested in, don't forget to like and subscribe because I post videos every Wednesday. And let me tell you, there's a lot happening around here. So. Don't miss one of them. Okay, so let's talk about the heat. First and foremost, let's just get it out of the way. The question, does it get hot here? Yep, like triple digit hot. Let's see, here's how you get around the heat. You have air conditioning. You own a home with a pool. You make friends with people with a pool. You have a homeowners association that includes a pool and it's all taken care of. You've got air conditioning and pool. You win. <laughs> okay, next thing you're probably gonna get asked is, what do you do there? I mean, we are a city of almost 500,000, so it's pretty standard that we have, you know, your basic activities. We have a whole community of entrepreneurs that are growing, all kinds of restaurants that have started out at our farmer's markets that have blossomed into these brick and mortar restaurants that are just so cute, so much personality, Cafe Smitten, Dot and Ott, The Hen's Roost. I can go on and on. Those are some of the big ones that we have that started out small and have become big or just the, the owners had an idea of what they wanted it to be and they, this, this great little mercantile has popped up in our downtown and it is fantastic. Plenty of big companies here, plenty of small companies here to get a job, which is great. We've got dairy, we've got ag, we've got oil, we've got mom and pop, we've got startup, all of them here in Bakersfield and the surrounding Kern County area. So if you are one of those or wanna be with one of those, this is the place to come and start your new life. And we are getting an Amazon distribution center here in town. Now, I don't know if that means that we're gonna get same day Amazon delivery. I kinda hope so. <laughs> but it would be cool if it did, but it's still cool even if it doesn't that we're getting that in our town. And it's supposed to be open by the end of 2019. Isn't that exciting? Oh my gosh. The next thing that will help you when you move to Bakersfield is to know that you can get to Southern California in less than two hours. Now, if you're a Dodger fan, that gets you to uh, Chavez Ravine in like an hour and 45 minutes, depending on traffic. If you are a Disney fan, an Angels fan, or um, a hockey fan, and you wanna go see the Ducks, you will be there in about two and a half hours, depending on traffic. All of it is depending on traffic. So once you get over the grapevine, which is the a mountain range that you have to go from Southern California to our Central Valley, once you get through that, you have no idea what's gonna happen on the other side, but the chances are really good that you're gonna hit traffic, so just be prepared for it and know that it's gonna be part of your drive. If, if you wanna go north, if you wanna go Fresno, Merced, Modesto, all of those cities up there, you're looking at another day trip, three, four hours. Make a day trip from San Jose and back in one day. It's a four hour drive, it's a hefty day, but still doable. Yeah. If you don't wanna drive that far and you wanna to go to the river, the Kern River is in our backyard and all through town. Here's a warning about the Kern River though. It is not one to swim in. It is incredibly gorgeous and it, the water flowing over the rocks is just a sight to behold. I completely recommend it to anybody coming through town. However, it is incredibly dangerous. So dangerous it has a nickname the killer current. Fun thing to do around Bakersfield is to go to the California Living Museum. If you have little kids, that's a, uh, a museum here in town that houses animals that have been injured and they cannot be rehabilitated out into the wild. So our museum has made it so that they can still have the life that they had outside, but they're uh, contained in the, in the zoo. And it is such a great place for kids. They do great things at Christmas. They do this light show in the trees. It's fantastic. You can also go to the Kern County Museum, which is um, where we have our clock tower, and there's all kinds of these old historic buildings, and they have um, the beer fest is there. There's all kinds of there's craft shows there. Stuff happens at Kern County Museum all year long, and there's a great restaurant in the museum. Uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff there. And last but not least, home ownership. It's incredible. Of course, this is my favorite thing to talk about because I'm a realtor, so I want to talk about real estate all day, every day. But for those of you that might have a question, home ownership here is mwah. That is, a, that is a hot commodity here in the state of California, let me tell you. And if you're looking for a retirement community here in Bakersfield, we have many, many gated 
retirement communities here of the active adult, 55 and older, that are just uh, blossoming. They have pickleball. There's actually an article put out by the National Association of Realtors that Bakersfield is the place to move if you are a millennial. I hope this answers some of your questions and that you know a little bit more about Bakersfield besides the song with Buck Owens and Dwight Yoakam. I'm gonna walk the streets of Bakersfield. Uh, it's a good little song, by the way, but there's a lot more to us than just our streets. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your time and we'll see you on the next video next week. Thank you.